hi guys welcome to my channel with a new video of talk so today I will tell you some interesting facts about the um, Alaskan Kalikai dog breed uh, it has some resemblance with the uh, husky dog so I will tell you some very interesting and important facts about the, these type of dogs so first of all let me tell you about the uh, this type of dogs uh, so they have height about 13 to 17 inches and uh, these dogs are dog breed group is companion dogs group and while their weight is about 10 to 15 pounds and this is a comparatively uh, an average type of weight uh, with the other huskies and their lifespan is about 12 to 16 years which is uh, comparatively average uh, lifespan unlike the Alaskan and Siberian Huskies they are descended from Alaskan Kleekais are meant to be companion dogs rather than working animals that pull sleds while they look similar to Huskies Alaskan Kleekais have uh, some obvious differences in temperament including their awareness of strangers while they don't uh, care for unfamiliar faces they are very loving family dogs in uh, their constant uh, vigilance make them good watchdogs Alaskan Kleekais adore attention from their humans and are eager to please which makes them highly trainable though there are relatively new breed that is not recognized by the American Kennel Club they are recognized by several other kennel clubs uh, and many breed standards have been established that said there is still variations among dogs within the breed and some breeders are working to change less desirable temperament traits such as uh, uh, skit skitchness Alaskan click eyes are not bred by many so they still remain a fairly rare breed throughout the world and let me tell you some highlights uh, for these type of dogs which everyone should know the word click eye come from an uh, Inuit term meaning small dog which is uh, appropriate for this breed that is a smaller version of his husky ancestors the breed hails from Alaska where it was developed in the 1970s and 1980s to be a companion dog rather than a working flat dog uh, although it is not recognized by the American Kennel Club Alaskan Klikais are recognized breed in the United Kennel Club and the American Rare Breed Association among the others solid white Alaskan Kais do exist but breed standards do not include this coat color although uh, they can shed a lot mm, and they do not require much grooming and mostly in take care of themselves and they're very intelligent type of dogs because they are sketch around strangers these dogs require early socialization training that uh, should last for the rest of their lives if they are to be friendly to unfamiliar faces. The high prey drive of the Alaskan Kais may make them all suited for homes uh, with other small pets such as cats, rabbits, hamsters, uh, etc. Uh, though they have uh, their human families, small children. Uh, they are not taught how to interact with dogs may uh, in advert hurt Alaskan guys during play or provoke them to nip or snap their history reminds us uh, best an intelligent type of breed ever I have seen uh, they hail from Wasila Alaska where it was developed by a woman named Linda and her family and she wanted to create a smaller type of husky that could serve as a companion dog after she saw a small version of Siberian Husky in Oklahoma and so when she returned to Alaska she got to work 
creating the dog that uh, we recognize as the Alaskan Kai today. Unlike some breeders who wish to create smaller breeds, Sperlin did not breed dogs that suffer from dwarfism. Instead, she bred Siberian and Alaskan. Huskies with breeds like the uh, uh, Shipperky and Alaskan Eskimo dog to reduce the size of the puppies about 10 years after unveiling the Alaskan Kais to the public. Sperlin retired from breeding, uh, though other breeders continue to produce these dogs. Still, they are few in numbers, and uh, the breed remains care as a new breed. Uh, the Kais has not been recognized by some kennel clubs, including the American Kennel Club, as a purebred dog, though the breed has been recognized by the American Rare Breed Association since 1995 and the United Kennel Club since 1997. Now I will tell you about their size. Uh, they come in day miniature and standard sizes. And though there isn't much differences between these sizes, uh, Toy Alaskan Kais are up to 13 inches tall while miniature are 13 to 15 inches in height and standards are 15 to 17 inches. Most of the Alaskan guys are between 10 to 15 pounds, uh, though they there can be some as small as 5 pounds or as large as 22 pounds. Uh, let me tell you something about their personality, which is very interesting. They are very intelligent, they are very energetic and loving to their families. They don't much care for strangers and require lifelong so socialization training if they are to be friendly to new people. Their weariness uh, of new faces uh, does however make them excellent watchdogs. When it comes to training Alaskan Klees uh, are quick to pick up on basic commands and uh, may even find themselves at the top of the class. They are very eager to please and highly food motivated and they are more than capable of taking an agility training which can help burn off some of their high energy throughout the day. Once they have at least a good long walk and a healthy play session, they are usually happy to spend the rest of the day being couch potatoes but neglect their exercise needs and they may become bored and anxious and destructive. Uh, one thing more I want to tell you that be careful on walk as these dogs have a high prey drive that may cause them to bolt if they see wildlife. Alaskan guys love to be the centers of attention in their families but they will also be vocal when they're needs are not being met. Uh, though they do not tend to be overly mouthy and are generally quieter than their husky for beers. They will bark and uh, want to express their displeasure and they can be sensitive. The people that want to take this type of dogs uh, in their home, they do know about their health because the Alaskan Kais is considered to be uh, quite a healthy breed with few genetic problems. However, owners should be aware that the breed is predisposed to a certain condition that they should keep an eye out for, including luxating, patella, thyroid disease, heart conditions, liver shunts, factors, seven deficiency, and uh, crack tractors. They may also keep their baby teeth, which can cause problems which dull teeth grow in. They may need to have these tooth removed. Uh, now I will tell you some care tips uh, for these type of dogs. And when it comes to their care, it is very important to make sure their exercise needs are met as they may become high strung and uh, anxious if they do not have an outlet to burn of energy. Like any uh, other dog breed, uh, they require regular teeth brushing, nail clippings, and uh, ear cleanings. 
uh, you should ask your veterinarian about your dog's specific needs now I will tell you about their feeding Alaskan guys are highly energy dogs that need a diet that will fulfill them throughout the day although their energetic nature makes their potential for weight gain fairly low they need to maintain appropriate nutrition to stay healthy you should consult your retainer or professional nutri nu nutritionist for insight on how to meet your Alaskan clique guys in individual dietary needs their coat color and groomings are very important because there are three coat colors you could recognize as breed standards for the Alaskan guys these includes red and white black and white or gray and white though this these color combination is very uh, pleased to see and uh, though solid white Alaskan guys have also been seen these coats can be standard or full coat both are double coats meaning there is a short soft undercoat and a longer coarser outer coat that protect dogs from extreme weather unlike many other breeds alaskan guys do not usually develop a dog door uh, they will likely need regular brushing during the season in which their coats blow out they tend to shed professionally um, while they only shed more moderately the rest of the year hope uh, you have enjoyed the video and uh, as i have uh, told much of the interesting facts about these type of dogs like all the properties temperament their affectionation their care their health and all other factors Hope you have enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe my channel. Uh, bye for this time. God bless you.